Here's the first pitch to him. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Two out, nobody on. The Yankee pitcher at the plate with a one and one count. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top level arm like this. Orcello gets the sign. Here's the 1 1. And it's 1 and 2. Pretty good pitch to hit there that he let go. I know it's early and they're probably wanting to run his pitch count up, but he may not get another pitch like that to swing at the rest of the game. That misses, and we're even at 2 and 2. Well, these are just extra pitches that are just going to add to your pitch count. He's not trying to work around him, and no reason to, but sometimes you just lose the strike zone for no apparent reason. And that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. So that keeps the bottom of the second going. Hey, it's one thing to give up a hit to a pitcher right here. Yeah, you can that. live with that, but an that's American League pitcher, a guy who probably takes BP 10 days oh, out of the year, you. this is surprising. He's going to have to bear down on the mound out there. Here's the second oh, baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. One ball, no strikes to count. Sale is off of first with two away. There's a belt high strike to even the count at one and one. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Betts has a read on it. And that ends the inning. One left for the Yankees. We play two innings. It's one to nothing. Ready now, Christian Vasquez. As we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Christian Vasquez. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. down the first baseline and that's a fair ball as it's through into right field and that's one of those plays that, that stay done. with you for an entire that's game you want to get the first out on what appears to be a routine Rizzello. play but you can't get it done the good news he has some time to redeem himself Into the box now, Rick Porcello. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And this will be swept away in foul territory, and we'll see if they try the bunt again. Throw down to second. Now the one and one pitch. Snap throw from the catcher. Not in time. And here's a slider strike three called and that'll be the first out of the inning but he's safe at first as he gets back in time so it's back to the top of the order now and that'll bring up the shortstop and one of the better two strike hitters in baseball Xander Bogarts throw down to second runners on first with one down. down the third baseline but this will wind up foul still 0 and 2 and this is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already and there are two gone in the inning. The yeah, as they say, 50. there's a hole in his swing in that location. Justin. So a good job there of exploiting that. Warrior. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Stepping in, Dustin Pedroia, a base hit in his first trip. Now a fastball to start things out. Didn't miss by a lot, but it's 1-0. Hit in the air out to center field. Harper is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Red Sox leave one. It remains one nothing.
Riding in once again, Will Carrasco. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. Will Carrasco. First pitch of the at bat on its way. In there, and it's 0 and 1. Swinging a soft liner. And the inning begins with a quick out number one. The right fielder stepping in, Aaron down. Judge. He reached Aaron. on a single in his first try. Good. Here comes the first pitch. Good and that run. swung on and missed for strike one. Judge, who fittingly gets the nickname All Rise, he was a first round pick back in the draft of 2013. Yeah, Matt, you cannot miss on your first rounder. And they didn't with this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. And that'll get by and on through towards the wall. And he'll reach second now with one away. Just goes to show you, if you're going to throw that two-seam fastball away, which I don't think is the best pitch anyway, you better start that thing out of the zone and let it work its way back to the corner. With this one, it started out on the corner, so it leaked back right over the heart of the plate and got whacked. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Now the fastball is swung on and missed. From the belt, the pitch. Uh, no plate discipline that time, and he's in the hole now. 0 2. Hey, I thought he was going to work around them right here in this situation. But after getting two swinging strikes, there's a change of game plan. I guarantee he's going right after him. Hit in the air to right center field. This ball is carrying well. Back it goes, and it is out of here. A two-run home run here for Bryce Harper. His first homer here in the series as the Yankees move out to a three-to-nothing lead. I think if this pitch would have been a little higher and in on his hands, it would have been effective. But he left this one belt high. Big mistake. He's a guy that will feast on belt high pitches on the inner half, which is pretty obvious now. Now that left fielder into the box, Giancarlo Stanton. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. The ball and a strike. A nice adjustment right there for him to get on top of that baseball and drive it to the corner. The first pitch he obviously tried to overthrow got under it and it sailed on him a little bit. And he fouls this one off. Still only one out in the inning. One two is an off speed pitch. No dice. It's two and two. Well, I kind of wonder if he's not being as aggressive as he was before that home run. Hey, this is a guy that can burn you again, so I don't really blame him. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now. Three and two. Now that ball is smoked. Carrying to deep left. Gone. Back to back homers. It's a solo blast off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton. His first homer so far in the series. As the Yankees start to pull away a bit, it's now four to nothing. It wasn't exactly a majestic home run, but show track tells us here that that ball was absolutely crushed. It left the bat at an incredible 116 miles an hour. The catcher. Stepping in now, Gary, Gary Sanchez. Sanchez. As he'll look at a breaking oh, ball that misses for ball one. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat.
swing and a liner. But unfortunately, right at the shortstop for the second out. Stepping up to the plate, the Torres baseman. flied out in his Wait first at bat, so make him 0 for Torres. 1 so far. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. Oh, hold on here. Well hit into deep left center, and I don't think this one's coming back. No siree. This one is gone. So a solo shot here to left center field. His first homer here in the series, and that'll stake the Yankees to a 5-0 lead now. Certainly a tape measure shot there as we take a look at it with our show track technology. 111 miles an hour was the exit velocity, so it comes as no surprise that it carried as far as it did. Standing Edwin. in now, Edwin Encarnacion. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. And 0 and 2 count to Edwin Encarnacion. When you're facing a guy with this many pitches in his repertoire, I say throw everything out. 0 2, he's sitting fastball. Swing and a miss got him reaching. And the throw to first ends the inning. So four runs in the inning, but of note there was that they came on the strength of three home runs. We'll move ahead to the fourth inning now in game two. It's the Yankees five and the Red Sox nothing. Now at the plate, J.D. Martinez. And he'll step.